Okay, hang on. Okay, we're back with puppy school. Oh, hi, Annette. Hey, girl, how's it been going? Anyway, this is this puppy's second day, so I'm just getting, I do something called a default down so that when you sit down, they lay down. And I only started the puppy yesterday. So this basket of stuff, I just don't react to jumping and all these things. Oh. And I was rewarding the sit. Only as a gateway to the down. I wasn't saying anything. I was just giving the treat low. There goes the head dropping already. And there's a difference between luring and giving the treat low. If you said, what's the difference? You're not withholding it. it it's just like a vending machine. Some vending machines, the stuff comes out at the very bottom. They said all vending machines? I suppose. <laughs> A lot of times, if you exhale, they'll lay down. If you're thinking about it, I'm just rewarding the head drop. Anyway, Katie, that's what we want. If you said instead of jumping up, yeah, she's terrible about jumping up, scratching me. I'm so used to it, though. I'm somehow able to just black it out, but you're not going to be able to do it for the rest of your life. Her claws are very sharp. All dogs exhale before they go to sleep. Oh, there we go. We're on the way. the head. The head's going to drop involuntarily. That's in one day, Katie. That's in one day. And if I had forced the puppy to lay down, switched her down, you're just you're just initiating an opposition reflex, and it's just like kids. You tell them to do something, not to do something. No, that's what they're gonna do. If you said, "What treats am I using today?" The Walmart hot dogs. <laughs> if you're there, Gloria, that's what you need to go get. I don't want to go to Walmart, but the Walmart hot dogs is like four dollars for. It's like a dollar a pound. If you said, what about dog treats? <laughs> it's ridiculous. I come online and look at those dog treats, even on Chewy, because I always like to see what their deal of the week is. If you said, what is it? Nothing that's a dollar a pound. Anyway, so that's what we want for the dog to just say to itself. That's why dogs jump up, because that behavior gets reinforced, and the dog says, this works. Okay, so remember what I started yesterday. If you said, then what do you want? You want to get it as a default behavior, meaning that just the sitting down, and this is what you need to do, Gloria. You can do other things. I can talk and train the dog at the same time. So you got to write that down. You've got to do that exhale. She's kind of looking at the turned up hand.
dogs lay down all the time. If, if someone found out, you know, that's all you gotta do, take a nap and they'll pay you. Where do I nap? That's the precursor. And there's another precursor. And there we go. You need to be doing all this stuff with the other puppy too. You better get on that today, Gloria. Before these other dogs come home and start running roughshod over them. If you said, what would the normal? The normal behavior might be for the two of them to decide to pick on him. That's how they are, they're terrible. Nobody tells dogs, don't bully, bullying's bad. <laughs> okay, so now we got that, and I'm just gonna do it one more time, but you want it to be a sequential thing. And since I know you do your art and everything, Katie, you want a dog that when you're there doing your art or whatever, just lays there watching you. It doesn't have anything else to do. If you said, what would be the opposite? Going off and getting into things. Like Crash, she's blind and deaf, but I could be on the computer and then turn around and she's got a hold of a roll of paper towels and you say, what do I say? I say, how is that even possible? Okay, you already started doing it, okay. It's just the opposite of jumping and they're, they've got to have some behavior. They do this all the time anyway, but nobody reinforces it. They're like, go lay down. It's more of a punishment. There's my precursor. Yesterday I said the leg was braced. <laughs> if he said, what's wrong? What's wrong with this? There's nothing really wrong, but the dog isn't facing me and she's on my foot. If he said, do you want one? No, I don't want him sitting on my foot all the time. Okay, so the other thing I started, anyway, right after this, I'm going to Lowe's. He said, looking like this? Yeah. <laughs> that way people will really stay away from me. He said, everybody else in there looks awful. Too. They do. I got to find that one video and show it to you, Gloria. I'm sitting there trying to explain that every single guy, it was to my friend in the UK, every single guy shopping at this place has on these cargo shorts. Just... You said, what brand? You've seen it. And then every single guy that walked by had on these cargo shorts. Except for like two of them had on like surf shorts. A lot of them look like they're straight out of Central Casting serial killers too. Okay, so that's already that's only the second day and she's already getting that figured out if you said what if your plan was to correct the jumping that would seem like it re the dog's internal dialogue would be it seems to react quite a bit to jumping so if I want to get a reaction out of it I'll jump at it and then look at it react look at it slow jumping around trying to flail around <laughs> that's what they think if I was jumping at a turtle and it was flapping its legs trying to make me stop, that wouldn't stop me. All right, so I got my little thing from yesterday. Let's see what happens. She knows it's got something to do with that.
is falling into the other behavior. That's why you have to be careful. And you've got to gauge that whether, and remember sugar and honey in the very beginning, they would do the laying down thing, but I said, I don't want, I'm not reinforcing that because I don't want that. you're down you're in trouble <laughs> she's so interested in it but you have to understand sometimes it seems like a fluke in the beginning when they pick it up right away but it's not it's not I can show you all kinds of them where they do it Anyway, Gloria, I think if you have a crate, I think you should put one of the dogs in a crate for the trip home so that they're not just crashing into each other on the trip home. I don't let them do it. I don't. But you have to be ready if, just because it's a very, it's a normal behavior and in them it's embedded. It's, they're not even thinking. It's just a reflex behavior at this point. She sees me looking at it. Anyway, and I think you should get those vests to go online. I'll figure out what size it is. They're not that used to wearing them, but it's good for public access. That way Mike can take sugar around with them. And nobody will bother her. This is what we'll, oh, they'll probably still say things like, oh, hey, you. All right, let me try with my glove again. You see her looking at my eyes. I don't look back, though. That's, that's very important. said she's just willing to do the down and that's it. <laughs> I have to be careful with that. So what can we do? The whole thing. a little bit. I just say, oh. oh, oh. oh. Anyway, I want a bunch of prizes in this online auction for my friend's chariot or my friend's rescue. He said, oh, all kinds of good stuff. Oh. Ah. He said she kind of sees we're in a different game now. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Anyway, one of them was a Peeps costume. The other one was these little, uh, uh, like little baby Crocs. I'm just factoring her out of the whole equation. Just putting 
him out of your eye line. I can't stand that. It's a tiny sock. Oh. <laughs> she said, what she say? Oh, that got a reaction out of it. or Barbies, whatever. Oh. Oh. Really don't want them laying down, though. Tiny sock. The tiny sock has helped a lot of dogs. <laughs> Remember, that was what Sugar first picked up. That was the first thing she ever picked up. I'll go back and find the episode. He said, what was it called? It was called the tiny sock. <laughs> What's this? It's the metaphorical, I'll take my toys and go home. <laughs> she said that tiny sock is a... <laughs> the magic tiny sock. said be careful you might be rewarding the sit <laughs> the initial subtask is just to get the dog standing up <laughs>
That's a trade secret. If they do something that you like, laugh and they'll repeat it. And that's why people laugh at the wrong time and then the dog does the wrong things. You saw that, Katie. She put it right in my hand. I just like saying that. He said, what's my next plan? I think all y'all know. Let's put it inside the tiny sock. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. The barking was kind of a precursor though, that she was gonna do something, but the energy was just going in the wrong direction. Anyway, Katie, we made it through the whole night with no accidents, but I do get up. Not that she woke me up, but I woke up at like, I don't know what time it was, but I was like so tired. And then I was just like, oh, I gotta let this puppy out. I gotta get up and let the puppy out. She wasn't barking or anything, but I said, I better get up and let her out. <laughs> and luckily, the difference here, girl, is I've got that little dog. God, she put it right in my hand. And I've got Tuffy, that little dog that she can go out with. Oh. She put it right in my hand. Anyway, so her and Tuffy go out and play, and then I, I put her back in and went back to bed for, if you said how long, I don't know, not very long. Anyway, she's unbelievable. The level is, the biggest mistake people make is not being aware of their level of consciousness. So that went really well. And then I got back up at my normal three o'clock in the morning and let her back out again. But she, if you said, what if she was just by herself? I don't know. Let me know if you have another dog. I don't, maybe you don't. But if it was just her by herself, honestly, girl, she would probably just scratch at the door. But because the other dogs are there, then she'll go out and go.
she put it right in my hand. All right, listen, Katie, I'm going to leave it with that for right now, but I'll be back later this afternoon. But for the second day, unbelievable. Uh-oh. She thought about it. She put it right in my hand. I just like saying that. <laughs> Everybody's like, we know, that's all you say. Anyway, super, super exciting work. I'll look at the one, you saw the one I had them in the other day, but I'll have to look at the size. They run different. Some of them say like XXL, and it's not even that big. Anyway, all right, so that's where we're starting at, and that was super, super first, or that was so. Oops, oh, hang on, there we are. He said, what's wrong? Well, I'll tell you what's wrong. My fingers are so greasy that I can't get my screen. Anyway, I'm on my way to Home Depot. I might go to Lowe's, only because Jessica gave me that Starbucks card. If Jessica's watching, she's like, that was a long time ago. I know. But I just haven't had a chance to get there because I only have one Starbucks over there. That's how lame they are. But anyway, that was a super first day. Our second day. See ya.